Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at smooth muscle. Now the slide you're looking at right now is a little unusual in that it's not a typical section through tissue. Uh, what this is is actually something called teased muscle. Uh, basically someone sat down, took a chunk of smooth muscle and they kind of just sat down with this on a slide and started kind of poking at it and pulling at it with a couple of picks maybe, maybe a scalpel or something and just started just trying to tease or pull these fibers away from one another. So what you're seeing here in the, this area at the pointer is a relatively dense sort of eosinophilic mass that is composed of many, many smooth muscle fibers all linked to one another. You can kind of see them kind of just sticking away at the tip of this mass and kind of separating out into individual fibers. And all around it what you see is just kind of this big mass of this hairy looking, looking things those are individual muscle fibers that have been pulled away from this. And the whole point of this slide is just to give you a good understanding of what a single smooth muscle fiber actually looks like. Okay, so um, in most of the time when you're looking at a section, you really can't tell um, where the boundaries of a single muscle fiber are or what its shape actually is. So this is a very useful slide to look at, at least initially, so you understand um, the structure of a muscle fiber and so you can understand how to interpret what you're looking at later on on an actual section. So let's kind of zoom in on this and just try to catch one of these fibers and just to take a good look at it, okay? So let's switch over to the 100x magnification and so here we can see a little bit more detail and so here you can actually see individual nuclei and these little fibers sticking out in all directions. So these are smooth muscle fibers. In this case here, lots of them in a larger group. And then out here at the edges, they've been pulled apart, teased apart into individual fibers. Okay, And so I'm going to zoom in on one of these guys, try to see if I can get a good look. I think this one I remember being in pretty good focus all the way throughout its length. So I'm going to try to put this one into the middle and we're going to switch over to the 400x objective to try to get a closer look at that fiber. Okay, so let's switch over to 400x. And here we go. Okay, so this is the reason that we have these teased slides, teased smooth muscle. So you can see the cell starts right around here. That's the tip of the cell right there. And then it's all cytoplasm. And then here we have a nucleus. It's a little elongated. And then again, we keep going and you see this is the other end of this cell. Okay, so let's think about this for a moment now. If I were to cut this cell, this is a longitudinal section, or I guess this is a longitudinal view of this cell. But if I were to cut this cell in cross-section at the point where the pointer is, all you would see is just a cytoplasm and no nucleus. If I were to cut it in cross-section here, again, all you would see is just a cytoplasm and no nucleus. If I were to cut it here, again, all you would see is just a, an eosinophilic disc, just a cytoplasm, no nucleus. And again, here, same thing. Here. Okay, I would see a nucleus in the middle, a bit of cytoplasm, and then if I go beyond this, again, I would just see cytoplasm. Okay, the reason I bring this up is that this is what you tend to see a lot of on many slides, is cross sections through smooth muscle, and all you see is a whole bunch of these empty looking cells, small little eosinophilic discs, and once in a while you notice a nucleus in one or two of them. Okay. So it's very typical of cross-section through smooth muscle. And that's simply because these are very long cells and the nucleus is just a small, small structure in the middle of this very, very long cell. Okay. So um, it's very rare to get a cross-section through a nucleus. And so in many cases when you are looking at a cross-section through smooth muscle, all you will see is a whole bunch of pink discs, this eosinophilic discs, and once in a while you might notice a nucleus, but there's going to be a lot of empty looking cells. Okay, so just to show you that, I have another slide I'm going to pop in next, and that's going to give you a view of both the longitudinal and a cross section through actual smooth muscle. 
in an actual section, in a, an actual tissue, okay? So let me just switch over to that slide and we'll pause the video for a moment and I'll come right back with a different slide. Okay, so the next slide is queued up. I'm just going to switch over to the 100x lens, or the 100x magnification rather. And so here we are. We are looking at a section through a part of the digestive system. We're not going to worry about which part just yet. We're going to focus on that in a different video. Um, and so what you're seeing here is in this region from here to here, we're seeing some longitudinal sections through smooth muscle. So there's a layer of smooth muscle. Actually, in fact, there's two layers of smooth muscle technically, but it's kind of difficult to tell them apart right now. So here what you have is smooth muscle in longitudinal section. And then just beneath that, we have this region right here that doesn't seem to have a lot of nuclei in it. Okay, and so in this region here, this is a cross section through smooth muscle. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this and give you a few things to, to notice about this. Okay, so let's zoom in to the 400x magnification. Okay, and so one of the things I want you guys to notice right away is that in this here, this is the longitudinal section through smooth muscle. And a lot of these nuclei are not nice and straight or kind of elongated or oval. They're in fact wavy. Okay, so here you have one here. So lots and lots of clearly oddly shaped nuclei. Okay, and so this is very typical of a longitudinal section through smooth muscle. Okay. Uh, what actually happens is when smooth muscle is contracted, when it contracts, when the cell becomes shorter, the nucleus takes on a corkscrew shape appearance, and that tends to show up as this kind of a wavy appearance in the longitudinal section. So that's what you're seeing here, is that corkscrew shaped nucleus is showing up on many of these cells here. So what we're looking at here is a longitudinal section through smooth muscle. And you're not going to see this sort of arrangement in any other cells besides smooth muscle. So you can use that to help you identify things as smooth muscle. Okay. Now if I go further down below this, I'm going to get into this region here, and this is a different layer. Okay. So in here what we have is smooth muscle, but in this case the smooth muscle is in cross section. Okay. And so you can hopefully see a little bit of the detail here. Um, but if you look carefully in this region, for example, uh, you'll notice that there's lots of these little eosinophilic, kind of dense looking spots. They're not super round. Um, those are the cytoplasms. Those are the different cells in cross section. Okay. Let me switch over to the 1000x magnification. So maybe you can see things a little bit more clearly. Okay. So here we are. So all these kind of dense looking regions here, those are cross sections through individual smooth muscle cells. So here would be one of these eosinophilic discs that we talked about. Okay, so there's a lot of them here. And once in a while you'll notice that you have a rounded nucleus, it's like right here for example. So here's a nucleus. So we have lots of cells around it that we did not cut through a nucleus because the nucleus is just a small part of a very long fiber. And then this one here, we just happened to catch the nucleus right there in the section. There's a few more nuclei in this, but a lot of the nuclei are not in this section. What we do have instead are these eosinophilic discs that tell us there's a cytoplasm there, but no nucleus is visible right now. Okay, So again, that is very typical of a cross section through smooth muscles. So you're going to be looking for these eosinophilic sort of regions where it looks like you have lots of cells but no nuclei and then once in a while you might see a couple of round nuclei just randomly scattered throughout this region. Okay, So that's very typical of a cross section through smooth muscle and again up here we have these wavy nuclei okay, which are very typical of a longitudinal section through smooth muscle. And again you can see from here how difficult it is to actually make out the boundaries of these cells. This is why that teased muscle cell slide at the beginning 
is so useful because you can actually see what the cells look like individually. It's much more difficult to see that in a section like this. We'll see you in the next video.